Today we'll look at how we can reuse materials with material libraries in SimCenter 3D. The material properties we'll be reusing can come from any source, including an existing finite element model. And that finite element model can be from any of the various solver environments that we support in SimCenter 3D, from Nastran to Abacus. And here, in this example, we'll import a deck from ANSYS. Now, we don't need any of the nodes and elements. We're only after the material properties. So we'll select only that. And to ignore uh, unreferenced materials, we'll turn that off to ensure that we get those materials imported, even though they're not associated to any objects. So here you can see there's no nodes or elements. Uh, however, if we go and take a look at the local materials, we can see we've got three materials imported into our model. And we'd like to make a library out of these materials. So we'll do that with Manage Library Materials. And here we'll select the local materials. And Material ID 1, 2, 3 is not uh, really helpful. We'd like to give it a, a better name. And I'm not sure which material is which, but I know I've got steel, aluminum, and titanium in there. But if I take a look at the mass density, Young's modulus, and Poisson's ratio, by adding those columns to our material library manager, it's a bit easier to see which material is which by the properties. So here there's a few columns as well that we don't need, such as category and library. Those are all uh, empty at the moment, so I'll go ahead and deselect those. So we're left just with the name, the location, mass density, Young's modulus, and Poisson's ratio. So here we can see with uh, Young's modulus of pretty, pretty close to 30 million, that's going to be my steel. At 10 million, that'll be the aluminum. And at 17 million PSI, that'll be the titanium. So we'll go ahead and give those uh, better names. And then we can export those materials to a library. And we'll choose the single mat ML library. And we'll select the location where we'd like to put it. And we can also append materials to this library as well. If we select the same uh, material library name to add more materials to. Uh, later. But here we, we're starting out with a new one. We've given it three materials and now let's go ahead and reuse it in an existing finite element model that has no materials assigned yet. So here we've created our mesh. Um, we have not assigned materials. We'll go ahead and do that. And for that we'll select a user mat ML library, not the default material library, but the material library that we just created our custom materials.xml and here you can see our steel, aluminum, and titanium. And we can go ahead and use those materials to assign to our new finite element model. And that concludes the demonstration.